These are my two traveling companions. When I don't have my babies with me, which I normally do, but if I don't, these go everywhere with me. Well, they're all essential to me because they're essentials, but here we go. First essential, if I'm walking out the house, no matter what, I gotta have water, so I make it Mononalo. I dislike plastic very much, so I either got a water bottle or I got my Mononalo. That's number one. Aquaman needs water. All right, next essential, healthcare. I mean, you know, like uh, just the essentials, you know what I mean? I used to carry my bag, toothbrush, spork. <laughs> I dig these things, man, so shampoo bar. So I just use that for, it's just a bar, so I don't have to use plastic. Lip balm, bite, so it's toothpaste. And then this really good, uh, I like this deodorant by, it's called uh, Palo Santo and Frankincense, but it's by Humble. Only problem is it's in plastic, so I'm gonna do my best to kind of call Donovan up and change this. So I wanna make it so I can have everything plastic free, which is my goal. Now that I become Aquaman, it's, there's just a lot of things I want to do to try to save, save the earth. So I think there was a moment where I was sitting on a plane and, uh, you know, there's a can of beer, there's a can of soda water, there's a can of Coke, and then there's this goddamn little bottle of water that's like a shot of water with two, three different types of plastic on it, the wrapper, the top, and I was just like, this is insane. So that's why I started to make Mononalu. So we make canned water, you know, it's infinitely recyclable. And I just, I was like, why aren't we doing this? And I just think drinking out of plastic bottles is disgusting. So, and it's not good for you. It's not good for the earth. You know, when you travel as much as I do, it's just like there's that single use plastic everywhere. And I just get tired of it. And so I wanted to not bitch about it. I wanted to do stuff about it. Next essential is gotta be music. So I, I, I mean, this is kind of the only thing I, I had no shit travel with tons of records. I probably travel with at least 300 to 400 records that are just like essential. So I just brought out a record. You know, this is just on record day. This is a Sabbath. So I always, I love vinyl and I travel with record players. So I have a record player that's in my trailer when we get ready in the morning. There's one normally in the gym. I love that. And then I kind of travel everywhere with these because the Marshalls, it's just, you know, if I do want to hook up to my phone, um, this is perfect. For me, it's like being a vagabond and, you know, traveling everywhere. It's like I can be in the dirt and, you know, anywhere I want to be climbing and I can just haul this thing around with me. It's like this huge thing. And then, um, yeah, it's just obviously rock and roll, which leads me to my absolute next. I'm a big fan of playing guitar and slide, blues. And then I started learning bass too. I mean, I kind of travel with a lot of uh, instruments, not only for myself, but also for my children. So, you know, they can play a lot. Like there's a piano right there. Like my daughter's been playing piano, she did trumpet. They both did violin. And I started getting into bass when my son was getting heavy into drums. So we travel with the drum set, probably bring about 12 guitars with me. I don't rock and roll until night, baby. My next uh, essential is the wallet I made. I can put my phone in there, cash and cards, so it's got everything I need in there. I made this wallet with uh, on Aquaman too, so it's just something that I was made with a couple different artists. It's got some carvings in there. It's got you know my tattoo and different things. So this is just my it's my chain wallet. I, I, I make a lot of different chain wallets, so my phone fits in there. So obviously this is about as essential as it gets. Stay in touch with my family. Photos. We picked out this as a shark skin. And then this is from a bull ring that you know used for bulls. This is what I wore in Aquaman, and this is what you know I'll wear in Aquaman too. I didn't sew this one together. I have many of them that I have made. This one right here, we had to make like four or five of them. So production made it on Aquaman one, but this is all the stuff that I picked and designed and all that kind of stuff. This is like a, a coin that was hand carved by a friend. I Absolutely love photography. My friend made these little cases for me for On The Room. Pretty neat, but I just, this, is my, um, this is my M2. I generally have an M2 or an M3, it's a film camera. It's a 50 millimeter lens. Yeah, it's just a beautiful workhorse. I love Leicas and I love being able to shoot film, but at the same time, I love shooting digital too. I just fell in love with this camera, so M10P. It's shooting through like 19, you know, 30s and 40s glass, but using digital. So my whole idea was to like be able to take something that's so crisp and clear with digital, but be able to shoot through old glass. I enjoy like experimenting with that kind of stuff. Damien, do you have the red here? So this thing's 6K. It's in the palm of your hand. It's insane. It's the red Komodo. And they made me a brass one. I was annoyed by my mother at a very early age. She would pull over constantly. We'd be driving, trying to get somewhere. She'd pull over and need to take a picture and pull over and need to take a picture. And until I realized, you know, when I saw my mother's pictures and I could see her eye and see how she captured things and see how she saw the world. After I got into acting, then I really, you know, it just kind of linked up with cinematography. So I, uh, 
I started shooting. My next essential is extremely important. It's all about potato and piggy big spirit. So this is my baby girl, Lola, and this is Wolf. And listen, if you have babies, you know you got stuffed animals. And if you're not with your babies, then you're gonna be cuddling stuffed animals. I think it's a little too personal. So unfortunately, I won't get into the stories because that's just for me and my family. But this is for Lola, this is Piggy Big Spirit, and this is uh, Potato, which is hilarious because Wolfie just <laughs> got this amazing character and they called it Potato. And I thought that was the most genius name for, uh, for a stuffed animal. So they sleep in bed with me, yeah. My little babies are in bed with me right now. They're actually watching a movie right now, but it's, it's yeah, I travel. Gotta have pig and potato. Next item, this is kind of goes in, in, in hand with uh, what I was telling you about. This is uh, a belt that my buddy made. Tabor Nash, we made these knucklehead, so it's, it's uh, for my favorite bike. So I love bikes. Obviously, that's one of my essentials. It's not here right now. So you can chalk that up to eight. I travel with many motorcycles, but this is the knucklehead. So it's like kind of my, it's a Harley Davidson and, um, and then knives, you know, I really love knives. I travel with a lot of knives. A lot of my friends make them. A buddy of mine, Chris, made this in Topanga, so it's a local artisan. I love supporting local. Gotta have a knife with me. So that's one of mine. And just the whole idea of just making handcrafted artists and local made is really exciting to me. My number eight essential is Harley Davidson bikes. I love them, they're my favorite. Greatest bikes in the world, my favorite. So that was kind of my example to go. I love Harley. I've always wanted a motorcycle my whole life. And I think, I mean, I made a piece about it. You can kind of watch it. It's called Where the Wild Stomped In. So you can like, go see it on YouTube. That's the one that we make. It's about my first bike. And then I made one for me and my children. Ultimately, I just, I, I love, I love riding motorcycles and I love riding around, you know, the world on them. All right, this is kind of weird, but, but it's mine. So my next essential is uh, my Carhartt pants. <laughs> my dirty ass Carhartt pants. I travel the world with them. They got my war stories. They've been through everything with me and uh, they're my favorite. They're the most durable. I love them. Yeah, number nine is it's literally my cards. I mean, I've had these pants since high school. So they're, it's, a, it's a long time. Another thing I made a, a, a little spot about called, it's called Canvas of My Life. And it's, uh, it's about these pants. So please do check it out. They've been with me forever. They've been through every up and down, man. I'm Hawaiian, so I gotta have my sleeper. I gotta have my flip flops. And I gotta have sunglasses. <laughs> Mandatory. These are pretty rad. I started making them and I love them because I just, it's, it's so simple. We're making them so it's algae bloom. So my goal is that you can just take these things and just plant them in your garden and you're not going to have all that waste going into the oceans and going into the landfills and so my goal is to like literally make a biodegradable flip-flop i'm pretty excited about that so my this company so ill makes these they're pink and black my favorite colors and i gotta have flip-flops two sunglasses as many as possible i think i have a massive collection of sunglasses and these ones I'm actually uh, making right now with um, electric. They this is a really cool company. They're doing it all recycled. So it's all, um, you know, environmentally conscious. Yeah, I'm doing my own little collab with them. And then uh, I've, they've, I've been wearing them forever because my buddies are surfers with them. So a um, couple motorcycle friends are sponsored by them. A couple uh, surfer buddies um, of uh, mine are friends. And they used to just hook me up and I loved them. So I was warm and then eventually we're like, hey, let's do something. And so now I got my own line coming out and I'm pretty stoked about it, but gotta have sunglasses. And that's it, bro. That's the 10. Thank you, GQ. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my 10 essentials. And uh, please, on August 20th, one of my favorite movies that I've ever done with my best friend and all my buddies, Sweet Girl, is coming out on Netflix. Um, I hope you love it. We worked our butt off. And, um, and also, if you can, help me stop single-use plastic. I love you. Aloha. Thank you.